Are you ready to get your child talking, communicating, and having lots of fun? Hey, I'm Ana Ayala. I'm a bilingual speech language pathologist, and in this video, I wanna share with you something you can do with your child at home or in speech therapy to get them talking, to get them communicating and using more sounds, words, and having more fun. Are you ready? Here it is, my echo mic. They actually have two because I love Echo Mike so much. You can find these at the dollar store or at Target or on Amazon. It's called Magic Mike. This one's called Superstar Mike. But what's so exciting about these little simple gadgets is that one, it gets the communication started, it gets your child excited to talk, to communicate because you're holding a microphone. Now these are great. They have, as you can see, some little holes and that helps to amplify the sound. And what happens is, as we're communicating with our child, they see you hold up something to your mouth and say something like, hello. And then it's your turn to give them the mic and see if they imitate. So that's how I use it. I say, froggy. And then I wait. So I elongate the sound so it brings more attention to the vowels. Froggy. And then I have an expectant phase and I wait. So I'm waiting, I'm leaning in, I'm letting the towel know it's your turn. Now I don't need to say, hey, say froggy. Hey, it's your turn. By me simply saying something and holding the microphone towards them and near their mouth, it cues them, I think it's time for me to say something. And that's the beginning of a back and forth communication. I say something, you say something. I say something, you say something. So with an echo mic, you can teach the basic foundations of turn taking, also of joint attention. I'm looking at the mic, you're looking at the mic. Hello, you see the mic? Hello, hello mic. And then also imitation. I, you could start, if your child is younger, you could start with, with short sounds and syllables. Ba, 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 ba. And if the child doesn't say anything, I would model ba, 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 ba. With the echo mic, you can also model going back and forth with another person, another sibling or grandma or a caregiver, you say something and then grandma says something and just go back and forth and imitate. La la la, la la la, la la la, la la la, la la, yes. And then we want to applaud and celebrate those moments when they imitate. And this creates, again, a fun, dynamic way of getting your child to talk. If you don't have a mic, that's okay. You don't need one. These are really fun, but right now, if you're stuck at home or you don't want to spend the money or you just want to get your child talking today, not tomorrow when you go to the store, you can use a simple cup because you also hear the amplified sound. So that's what's happening with these mics. They're amplifying the sound. So it's bringing attention to that word. Hello, hello. Hi, baby, mama, mama. So that's where you could start at a very young age and you bring also attention to your mouth because you're bringing the object, the child's watching your mouth and then you're saying the sound, the word or the sentence. I see a butterfly. What do you see? And maybe it's their turn. I see a penguin. You could be reading a book and also skimming through the pages and you just bring it up. Hello, doggy. You could pretend to say hi to each of the characters and then you bring the mic up to their mouth and maybe they start talking and imitating you and saying hello to all of their, the animals in the book or their stuffed animals. And what works and is very simple and you can find it anywhere in your home is an empty roll of toilet paper or an empty roll of paper towels. Hello. Now this doesn't amplify the sound as much, but you can also put some tape at the bottom and you can decorate it and you can pretend. But again, this is about bringing attention to your mouth, to your face and having the child be excited and want to imitate what you're saying. Be fun with it, be silly. Um, you could give it to your stuffed animals. 
Hello, giraffe. Hello, how are you doing? Oh, I'm doing great. How about you? Hello, I'm doing fabulous. So you could interview each animal. You can ask them questions so the child doesn't feel like you're bringing it, um, the attention to them. Some children don't like that. An echo mic is a great resource to also use in teletherapy. So if you're a clinician watching this, you can use this in your sessions. I found it to be very helpful. I point it towards the screen. The child knows it's their turn and I don't have to be saying it's your turn or tell me or say. So if you're at home with your child, you can start using something as simple as a microphone or a cup to amplify the sound and to start encouraging more communication from your child and more imitation. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found some of these ideas useful and that something as simple as an echo mic can help your child start producing more sounds, words, and lots of fun language. I wish you love. I wish you lots and lots of fun. And don't forget to play, play, play. Bye friends. Adios amigos. Besos. An echo mic, an echo mic, an echo. I can juggle, I can juggle, I can juggle. Ah! <laughs> Bye, friends!